We've just made it through Barrel, and of course, we've been through a hurricane, and now people are without power, and it's hot. So we're wondering, are you checking on the seniors in your community? Dr. Don Ali has more. Now is a time we're concerned about many senior citizens here in our community as we recover from Hurricane Burl and the storm system. Now we have to be concerned about the heat, the heat advisory, uh, and it'll be plenty of more hot days and people don't have power, especially those seniors. We're concerned about them. First of all, what kind of medical dangers can they face as a result of not having uh, power and in extreme temperatures? Yeah, so not having power, Isaiah, well, obviously, uh, especially with uh, higher temperatures and hotter temperatures going on right now, especially with us being in the summertime, it will elevate your body temperature, and that elevation of body temperature uh, can cause heat exhaustion and even lead to heat stroke and death. And so that's why it's so important for folks to maintain hydration uh, as much as possible, to consume water uh, as much as possible within the guidelines. I mean, if you have kidney issues or if you have other medical issues that limit your uh, intake, then that's separate. But generally speaking, hydration hydration is very important, and then staying in a cool environment. Um, if you have uh, an area that gets a lot of sunlight, Isaiah, you want to try to cover that up slightly so you get less sun exposure. Uh, you know, if you're able to and you've got hot or cold running water, take a shower in cold, cold water um, just to bring down your body temperature. Just a little bit of those small things can go so far, Isaiah, especially with these temperatures and what we're seeing with folks not being hydrated and uh, not consuming meals, not having the normal activities that they do uh, with without electricity and being stuck at home. And you and I were talking earlier and you said that's why it's so important that family members and friends and even neighbors go check on those seniors that may live around them, that may be related to them, just to ensure that they're okay. Yeah, Isaiah, so what we're seeing is that the cell phone towers are down, some of the landline towers are down, um, you know, without electricity, it's so difficult to be able to communicate with our loved ones. Uh, and so it's imperative for us to try to get a hold of them, if not, if it's safe, if it's possible um, for folks to be able to go visit those seniors, to go visit those loved ones, to check in on them, do a welfare check, you know, and if you can't do it, you know, call uh, call the cops, call somebody that can maybe do that welfare chair if you are very concerned about the safety of your family member or senior member uh, in the community. So again, don't just, uh, you know, let it ride or just don't think that maybe, you know, I'll check on them tomorrow. You know, those few hours can go a long way, Isaiah. So if you haven't heard from your loved ones right now, I urge you if it's safe, if it's possible for you to go check on them, please do so. If not, please call the authorities and see if they can do a welfare check to make sure that your loved ones are okay and safe. All right. And Dr. Ali, obviously, you know, we and we know having older relatives, some of them can be very difficult. They don't want to leave their house, but we have to find the strength to talk them into leaving, or it could be their lives we're talking about. Yeah, Isaiah, we've seen some really uh, sad cases uh, come up from the suburbs of the city where, um, you know, folks ended up, some that had dementia or uh, autism or were uh, on the spectrum, they ended up um, going outside in these horrible conditions and one person drowned in the in the pool, the other person drowned, uh, you know, just going outside uh, in being in uh, conditions where the water was very high. And so these are things that, you know, if you have loved ones that have medical conditions or are older and, and may have Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, these are the folks that you really want to check in on. Uh, and if they live in a senior care facility, Isaiah, some of those facilities are struggling as well. So checking in on those facilities, going to visit those facilities, making sure that they have adequate hydration, they've got adequate care for your loved ones. Those things are so important at these times right now, Isaiah. 